Security Hub is a cloud security posture management service that aggregates, organizes, and prioritizes security alerts and findings from various AWS services and supported security solutions from the AWS Partner Network. Today, I will demonstrate how you can automate the management of security findings in Security Hub using automation rules. With automation rules, you can automatically update various fields in findings, suppress findings, update findings severities according to organizational policies, change findings workflow status, add notes, and more, helping to reduce the number of repetitive tasks you need to perform so you can focus on the alerts that matter most. From the Security Hub console, navigate to the Automations tab to create a new automation rule. It's important to note that rules can only be created by the delegated admin account for Security Hub if you have set that up through AWS organizations. Rules set up in the delegated admin for Security Hub will act on all of the findings in the member accounts for the region you set them up in. From here, you can create a custom rule from scratch or create one based on the rule templates that can help you get started. You can define specific criteria that would automatically evaluate against incoming findings and set actions to change finding fields, reducing finding volume, and time to remediation. Let's try using one of the rule templates first. I'll start with the template Elevate Severity of Findings that relate to resources in production accounts. This template populates the criteria and automation actions, but you can modify them. Let's look at the criteria. In this case, the rule will apply to findings where the product name equals Security Hub, compliance status equals failed, record state equals active, workflow status equals new, and severity label equals high. There is also criteria for my production accounts. In my example, I have only one, so I'll remove the extra and update the first with my production account ID. After finalizing your criteria, you can preview which findings match the criteria by clicking Refresh in the next box that states Preview of Findings that Match Criteria. Scrolling down, we can view or change the automated actions which will occur when findings match your criteria. In this case, we can see that the severity label is set to critical and a note is added stating, a resource in production accounts is at risk. Please review ASAP. This provides more context and indicates higher priority for the person who will triage or remediate the finding. When we create this rule, the rule will be enabled by default and will be applied to all newly ingested or updated findings. Let's look at an example finding that meets our rule criteria. Here is a new finding that matched the automation rule criteria. This finding is titled, Security Groups Should Only Allow Unrestricted Incoming Traffic for Authorized Ports. At the bottom of the finding details, you can see the note added by our automation. The severity label is also set to critical. If we look at the finding history, you can see that this finding originally had a high severity label, but our automation rule updated it because it is in our production account. Let's return to automations. Many customers, when they first start using Security Hub, focus on prioritization. If the organization hasn't used a cloud security posture management service before, 
there could be many controls and findings that the organization previously didn't have visibility into that they now have to sift through as they set goals and prioritize work. Something that could help with this is tagging findings based on goals, initiatives, and environment tier as they come into Security Hub. First, let's set up an automation rule to tag findings originating in a production account. For criteria, we just want to match when an AWS account ID equals our production account IDs. In my example, I just have one, so I'll enter that. Then, for automated action, I'll set a user-defined field. It will prompt for a key value pair. I'll input environment production. Now, all new findings from this account will have the user-defined field with the key value pair environment production. This user-defined field can be used in filters, insights, will appear in the finding JSON and history and member accounts, and will be available to downstream applications that you may have configured to ingest findings from Security Hub, such as a ticketing application or ITSM. Let's define another similar automation rule. This time, we'll tag findings that we want to track as part of an organizational goal. Let's say our goal is to resolve all account and IEM security alerts due to misconfiguration. We'll use generator ID as our criteria and look for findings from any security hub control with the prefix security control account or security control IAM. We'll again use a user-defined field, this time setting the key to security goal and value as account and IAM. Remember, you can use user-defined fields for filtering findings and creating insights in Security Hub if you want an easy way to track goals. We'll wrap up with a rule for suppressing findings. When you are using Security Hub, especially if you have a large environment or you use many of the integrations available in Security Hub, you may find it necessary to reduce the volume of findings by suppressing them. I would only recommend this if it helps you focus on the findings that are important. If you find it necessary to use a suppression rule, you should only suppress low priority findings and you should make this a temporary measure and revise the suppression rule after you've made progress improving your security posture and reducing the number of findings. For my example, I'm going to suppress findings ingested into Security Hub from Inspector, 
where the severity label is informational or low. I'll add a note that this was suppressed via automation. Like I mentioned, if you plan to suppress findings, you should revisit suppression rules on a schedule to ensure they are still necessary and acceptable to your organization. If you need to, you can edit or delete any of these rules. At this point, you should understand how to use Security Hub automations. Try out this functionality in your own account. Don't forget to refresh and preview findings that would meet your criteria to check your work. New account holders can try Security Hub for 30 days at no cost on the AWS free tier. Visit aws.amazon.com securityhub to learn more and to get started.